In this tutorial, we're going to take a look at the files area of Blackboard. What you need to do to get started is to go into uh, one of the courses that you're teaching, make sure that the edit mode is on, and then you're going to go into the control panel and then click on files if it's not open, and then you'll see the name of your course. Click on the name of your course. This will bring up the files area of your class. Now, if you have a brand new class, there won't be anything in here. If you've um, exported from a previous semester and imported it into this class, you should see all of those files. Um, basically, anything that you see in here, your students can access if you've provided a link to the content area to it, and we'll talk about that more later. If there's a file that you think that the students can see, if you don't find it in here, then chances are they can't access it. So essentially, by default, you have a list view. It shows you folders um, and files. You can just click on the name of a, of a folder to get to the file within it. To go back up a level, you click on the folder, and that'll take you up to the parent, and then you can open up another one. And so this is just looking at everything in list view. If you wanted, you can also view it as thumbnails, and that's just clicking up here at the top. And now you have thumbnails of the different files. Now when you're looking at most of your files, a thumbnail view isn't going to give you a whole lot of benefit. But if you were looking at an image, then you'll get a little thumbnail view of the image. Now, when you get started, you'll be within the main folder, and the main folder is the one that's got your course name. You can't change the name of that folder, but you can change the name of any other folder or create a folder within that. To make a folder, you just in the yellow area, click on Create Folder, give the folder a name, uh, my first folder, Submit, and then that folder has been added. And I'm going to change this back to uh, List View. So now that folder is added. You can see how much is in it. Right now there's zero. You see when it was created um, and all of that information. If you wanted to rename it, you just click the double down arrow next to the name of the folder and click Edit. And then at the first line, you can retype it. Um, general folder and submit. So that's all there is to creating a folder. You can make a folder in this area. You can also make a folder within a folder. So if I wanted to make another folder within the general folder, I could do that by clicking on create folder and inside make another folder and submit. And so now here's my general folder. If I go up a level, I now have general folder. And then if I go into that, there we are. Now you can move things around within the files area and if you do it'll stay linked. And what I mean by linked is that any file that you've got in your class that the students can view are housed inside of this files area. If I wanted to add some files, and sometimes you might find it difficult to carry around all the files you need when you're working on building your class. So what you can do is actually put all the files in and then develop your class and move your stuff around within the files area. So if I did upload and upload files, I can upload files, folders, any of that sort of thing. And I can choose whether I want to upload multiple files, which will give me a window like this, or a single file, which to do a single file, you just click Browse, search to find your file, click Open, and then it'll be there, you hit submit. And now you'll see that that file is added to this folder. If I wanted to add more, I can just go to upload files. And if I do multiple files, then if I have a folder open, and I wanted to move all of the files in there that's in the folder, I'm gonna do this updated for 9.1. And inside this folder is all the different um, tutorials. I'm going to take and drag that entire folder into this area. And so it'll take a minute. And then here's all the folders listed that were in that folder. And so it's going to upload the folder, which you see at the top. It's going to upload all of the files. And also, if there's any folders within it, it's also going to 
um, upload those as well. So we're going to hit submit and then it's going to take a minute and you'll notice as it's going that it shows you the progress on each file as it goes. Essentially all of the files that are getting moved are then going to be available for me to link into content areas throughout my class. So if I was making a content area and I wanted to link several of these files, I can do it all at one time because they're already here. And I'll demonstrate that shortly. Okay, so now it's finished. All of my files are in there. It's completed with one error, but we'll go ahead and hit submit. And so here's the folder, the updated for 9.1. That was the folder that I was putting in. And if I click on the name of that folder, it'll open it up and it'll show me all of the files that I've put in. Now notice that the icons are different depending on what kind of file it is. There's a PDF icon, there's a document icon, there's a zipped file icon. Um, so depending on what kind of files, you'll see different um, thumbnails. Okay, so what I can do from here is I can actually organize further. So if I wanted to make some folders to put these in, I can make create folder, and then I'm gonna make a preview access folder. Okay, so here's my preview. Okay, if I wanna see more than the little bit that it'll show me at once, I can do show all, and it'll show me all 79 items that are in here. And probably at the bottom, yep, is my preview access. So I'm going to move into that folder these three preview access files. So I'm just going to click the check mark, and then I'm going to choose move. And then my destination is going to be inside the general folder, general folder one, updated for 9.1. And then I have the preview access folder. So I'm going to select the button for that and then submit. And then that selected that folder. If you choose if selected the system automatically overwrites the existing file with the same name, then what it'll do is if you've got already one of these in there, it'll overwrite the one you've got with the new one. But we don't have any in there, in there so we're just going to hit submit. All right, and then if I go down to the preview access, we'll notice that it's no longer at the top where it was. And if we go into the preview access folder, those three files are there. And so essentially what you could do is make several folders. And one thing that I recommend is to make a folder for the different areas of your course. And then if you have folders within those areas, go ahead and make folders here, and then you'll know where they're at. One of the benefits of using this files area is when you update files, you can come in here and update them. So let's say that I have an updated version of this tips and tricks document. All I have to do to replace this one is click the down arrow, choose overwrite file, then I'm going to browse and find the new version of it. So I'm going to find my tips and tricks, click open, submit, and then give it a minute and it will overwrite the old one with the new one. So this is a great trick for your syllabus. Every semester you have a new syllabus and so if you just name it syllabus then every semester you can go in here and browse and overwrite the old syllabus with the new syllabus. So that's essentially how you edit, add, and move files. Now if you move files that are linked in your class, they will stay linked even if you move them. However, if you delete a file, like if I had this tips and tricks document um, linked to a content area and then I came in here and deleted it either this way or this way, the file would no longer be linked so that file would no longer be able to be accessed. So make sure if you're deleting something here that it's not linked to something within the course. To use the files area, once you have all of your files in here and you're ready to utilize it, you go into the area of your course where you want to add your item, click on build content and item, and I'll do this as grade center. And then I can do a description as usual. And then to attach the files, I'm, then I'm going to do browse course since the files are already within the course. 
I'm going to go inside of my general folder. And the key with this is make sure when you're going into folders you're not clicking your boxes because that's going to add those files. So I'm going to go into general folder, updated, and then I'm looking for my Grade Center tutorials. So here they are within a folder. So I'm going to click to open that. And then I can add as many files as I want. If I want to add all the files that are shown here, I can just click the checkbox at the top, and that's going to add everything that I can see and everything within that folder. It tells me at the bottom how many files I have, and then I'm going to hit Submit. And then it's going to show me all of the files that are, are being used. And you can change the name of any of the files if you want to. Then once you're ready, just make sure that it's viewable. Hit Submit. And now here is my Grade Center item. And then here are all the files that are attached. So rather than have to go dig one by one to find the files, I got to do all of them at one time, which is very helpful. When you're in your files area, if you're not sure of a file is being used, if you go to the file, so if I want to see where, we'll go into Grade Center Tutorials, because we know these are all being used. So if I go to the file and I do the double down arrow, I can use the 360 view. And what that's going to do is it's going to tell me where in the course the file is being used at or if it's not being used. So in this case, down here at the bottom is where I'm talking about with the links. It's telling me that it's used in this course. This is the name of the course. This is the instructor. And then the item it's being used in is called Grade Center. So if an item is not being used, so let's go up one. All right, so if an item is not being used, like I haven't used these tips and tricks document, I can do my double down. I can do 360 view. And then when I get to links, no links available because it's not being used anywhere. So if you've got a course that's been copied two and three times and you're not sure what's being used and what isn't, this though tedious because you have to do them one by one, but this is a way you can make sure that the file that you're deleting really isn't used anywhere. Another thing to keep in mind is the permissions. If you have a file that you know is here and your students should be able to use it, go into the double down arrow and choose permissions and make sure for the student read option is available. If it's not, you'll want to fix that. And to fix that, you can add a course user list and that's if students wasn't available, but generally it always is. Then do your double down and edit. And then you can choose what the students can do. Read, write, remove, manage. Generally with the students, you just want to have them read. And then hit submit. Now, another thing you might need to do is to upload files that have been zipped, but you don't want them to stay zipped. Like, for example, this views.zip is a zip folder. And you can tell because it says zip on it. And the only way, the only way you can use it is to... Uh, link the zipped folder, which the students would have to then download to get the whole zip file. But if you want to upload a, a zip folder and have it unzip, it's easy to do. You do your upload, and this time you're going to do upload package. And then you're going to browse to find your file. And these can only be done one at a time. And so we had the views. That's my zip folder. So I'm going to click on that. I'm going to click on Open. And then again, if you wanted to overwrite files with the same name, you can. We're not going to. And then we'll hit Submit. And because we already have these files there, it's not going to let us upload it because we didn't choose to overwrite. So we're going to cancel. We're going to go up a level because we know we don't have it here. And then we're going to do your upload package. Browse to find our zipped file again. Open. And then submit. All right. And so then rather than uploading the zipped file, it now unzips it and puts the files all separately.